this video, I'm going to use a TV show to illustrate how transcription factors can control transcription in a negative or positive way and how that relationship creates developmental networks. In the show The Office, we know that Michael and Holly end up getting married. The characters in the show that influence this final event the most are Toby, the HR rep, David, the CEO of the company, Jan, Michael's boss and romantic partner at the time, and of course, Michael and Holly. Some of these people inhibit the actions of other people, which would be similar to the actions of a regulatory protein that would bind to DNA and inhibit transcription, therefore altering gene expression. Characters that would show inhibitory relationships include David, who fires Jan, and Jan, who is Michael's in a relationship with, keeping him from pursuing Holly. There are also proteins that stimulate transcription when they bind to DNA, just like in the show, there are people who stimulate the actions of other characters. These characters include Toby, who tells David Jan is a terrible boss, in other words, he brings David into the equation, and Michael, who pursues Holly, resulting in them being married. Now that we know the characters' interactions with each other and how that relates to positive and negative transcription factors, other words, activators, and repressors, we can put it in terms that will help develop a pathway. We can say that Toby activates David because he informs of Jan's poor work, David inhibits Jan because he fires her, Jan inhibits Michael by being in a relationship with him, and Michael activates Holly by pursuing a romantic relationship with her. And when Holly is activated, the outcome is the two of them getting married. Drawing it using arrows for the activation and a T-bar to show repression, the relationships are illustrated. The interactions between these people hold a careful balance in the show, somewhat like a domino effect, where without one, the other one isn't able to contribute to the end goal and the outcome may be different. This is the same concept we see when looking at transcription when there are mutations in the transcriptional controls. We will go over examples of what a mutation would look like. Here there is a single mutation where Jan is eliminated but the outcome will remain the same because Jan inhibited Mike from being with Holly, but since David was there to inhibit Jan when there was no mutation, there is nothing keeping Mike from being with Holly still. In this single mutation, we see a change in the outcome of the show where if Toby is eliminated, David does not get the information that Jan is a bad boss and therefore doesn't fire her and she's able to stay in a relationship with Mike and acts as a repressor for him and he does not marry Holly. There can also be mutations in more than one control. In this double mutation that eliminates Jan and Mike, David is still transcribed but since there is no Michael, obviously... He and Holly cannot get married and the outcome is changed. In another double mutation where Toby and Jan are eliminated, David is not transcribed, but he doesn't need to be there to repress Jan's actions because she was also eliminated. In this situation, Mike and Holly are still able to be together as there is nothing repressing their